Once upon a time in a distant land, there was a kingdom ruled by a wise and aging monarch named King Benjamin. He faced a unique challenge. He had no heir to succeed him on the throne. As he grew older, the need to find a suitable successor became more pressing. King Benjamin pondered this dilemma for days. And finally, he came up with an idea. He decided to invite all the qualified young men from his kingdom to the palace for interviews. These interviews would determine who had the qualities needed to be the next ruler of the kingdom. The only requirement was that the candidates must possess immense love and compassion for their fellow citizens. Word of the king's announcement spread like wildfire throughout the kingdom. Every young man, regardless of his background or status, was excited at the prospect of becoming the ruler. Among them was a young man named Ethan, who lived in a remote village far from the royal palace. Ethan was known in his village for being kind-hearted and hard-working, but he was also very poor. Circumstances had not been kind to him, and he lacked proper clothes to make a respectable appearance at the royal palace. Undeterred by his humble circumstances, Ethan decided to embark on a journey to the palace, hoping to fulfill his dream of becoming the next king. To prepare for the journey and the interview, Ethan worked tirelessly, saving every coin he could manage. He knew he needed proper attire and supplies for the long journey to the palace. Days turned into weeks, and Ethan's determination never wavered. Finally, he had enough money to purchase the necessary clothes and supplies. With newfound hope, and dressed in his new attire, Ethan set out on his long journey to the royal palace. He traveled for many days, overcoming numerous challenges along the way. The path was fraught with obstacles, but he pressed on, fueled by his dream of becoming the kingdom's ruler. As Ethan neared the palace, he encountered a sight that touched his heart. By the side of the road, he came across a destitute beggar, shivering in the cold and covered in tattered rags. The beggar extended his arms and pleaded for help in a feeble voice. I am hungry and cold. Please, sir, help me. Ethan couldn't ignore the pitiful condition of the beggar. His heart overflowed with compassion, and without hesitation, he decided to offer his help. He stripped off his new clothes and gave them to the beggar to provide some warmth and comfort. He also shared his limited food, which he had carefully carried for the journey. The beggar was overwhelmed with gratitude, thanking Ethan profusely for his generosity. With nothing but his old and dirty clothes left, Ethan continued his journey to the royal palace, albeit with a hint of hesitation. He wondered how he would be received in his current appearance, but he found the strength to move forward. Upon arriving at the palace, Ethan was guided to the Great Hall, where the interviews would take place. After a brief rest to clean himself of the journey's dirt and grime, he was granted an audience with the king. As the doors of the throne room opened, Ethan bowed low as King Benjamin made his entrance. When Ethan raised his eyes, he was taken aback by what he saw. King Benjamin bore a striking resemblance to the beggar he had encountered on the road. The shock and astonishment were evident in Ethan's expression. King Benjamin, noticing Ethan's reaction, smiled kindly and said, Yes, I was the beggar you met on your way here, but why did you dress up like a beggar, my dear? You must have known I am the king. Ethan stammered as he tried to find the right words. I, I did it because I wanted to be sure that you had a good heart, a heart that genuinely cares for your people. I knew that if I came to you as a king, I would only see the side of you that wanted to impress. But by dressing as a beggar, I could see the truth in your heart, your compassion for those in need. King Benjamin nodded in understanding and replied, You have shown me that your heart is filled with love and generosity for your fellow citizens. This kingdom doesn't need a ruler who only caters to those in power. It needs a leader who will work tirelessly for the welfare of all its people, especially the ones in need. You have proven that you are the right person to succeed me. With those words, King Benjamin made a promise to Ethan that he would be the kingdom's next ruler. This story teaches us that kindness, compassion, and a genuine love for others are qualities that should be cherished above all else. It reminds us that true leadership is not just about power and wealth, but about having a good heart and a sincere desire to work for the betterment of all. King Benjamin's test of Ethan's character by appearing as a beggar demonstrates that sometimes the most valuable qualities in a leader are not immediately apparent. In life, it's crucial to remember that kindness and generosity are traits that should be valued and practiced. These qualities can have a profound impact on the world around us, 
making it a better place for everyone. It's a heartwarming story that encourages us all to cultivate kindness and love in our lives.